What's up guys, this is Fahrenheit, and I wanted to make a quick video on some Dragon Ball Fighters news that came out recently. There were some character reveals over the weekend, and I just wanted to give my impressions on them. Getting right into it, let's start with Mr. Wolf Fang Fist himself, Yamcha. So, with Yamcha, it's uh, I'm not too surprised that he made it. And in fact, most of these characters are are pretty predictable. But that's cool. They they they're Z fighters. They should be in the game. Um, but to be honest, I always felt like there was that chance with Yamcha that he wouldn't make it. And the reason for that is because in Dragon Ball Z, my memory serves me, uh, if it serves me, I don't remember him being very significant in this in in Dragon Ball Z almost at all. I remember he was like he got blown up by Cyberman. And then he died in the fetal position, and then that was kind of like it for like a long time. And I honestly don't remember him doing anything of any significance throughout the rest of the series. All that said, Yamcha does have some pretty cool moves, and if he did end up in the game, I could imagine what he could do. I figured he would probably use his spirit ball. They'd probably give um, the player some options to pressure the opponent from a distance, giving you maybe some like... Uh, some some uh, control over how the spirit ball moves so it allows you to get in close and use his wolf fang fist or something like that and it sounds like for the most part that's what he does he's uh he seems to rely on close quarters uh fast combat i think and he does have his wolf fang fist in there as well as the spirit ball so that's pretty cool i mean i'm sure arc system works will make him really cool I, I did have my reservations on whether he would make it but here he is so for those who really are interested in seeing yamcha now he's officially there. I'm sure they'll make him look really dope. Then we have Tien. Now, Tien has always been one of those characters where I always felt like he was underutilized, just like Yamcha, but I actually personally liked Tien. I always thought he was actually pretty cool, and he was one of those characters who had potential, but he just wasn't being written to meet it. And it always kind of bugged me because he always seemed like he was a pretty cool character and there was room for him to grow as a, as a character, but they never, he never was really utilized. But I'm happy to see him in this game and, you know, for me personally, when I look at him, I'm like, I think he looks really dope. I like his, I like his outfit. I think it looks awesome. I like his pose. He looks really cool. So I'm, I'm curious to see how he fights. It looks like he actually has Chaosu who actually assists in combat. So that's pretty cool. I don't imagine Chaosu is going to be as much a part of Tien's combat as 17 is for 18. But it is cool that Chaosu is a part of his combat. That there's some aspect of Chaosu that you can utilize. Maybe uh, freeze the opponent or distract the opponent somehow. So you can get in and do some damage. So that's really dope. I'm curious to see what he's going to look like in motion. Uh, I want to be able to try him out because I think he looks really cool. Now for what I think is the most interesting news, we've got a brand new original character for this game. And it seems like she might be one of the artificial humans or androids by the name of 21. It looks like she may potentially be the reason 16 is back. And for all we know, she may have something to do with the zombie looking Z fighters that we've seen in the tr uh, previous trailers. So I'm curious about how she is connected to all of this. She seems like she may be similar to Dr. Jiro in the sense that she's partially artificial, but at the same time is a scientist. So she, she probably was human at one point um, and has her own experiments. And maybe if I would just spitball here a little bit what the story could be, you know, she maybe someone got a hold of her research and started using it against her or put it, pitting it against the world. And they created these zombie Z fighters or something like that. And she needed to stop it or somehow retaliate and so she uh she resurrected or reprogrammed android 16 and you know something like that now so far it looks like she's only a character that will be represented in the story mode but i started to become interested in the idea of what if she was playable how would she play and one of the first things that came to my mind that i thought would have been really cool for this game and would add a lot of variety was if she basically was the blaze blue Kokonoe for Dragon Ball Z. So in other words, she's like a scientist, uh, a, a mechanic, computer engineer, whatever, right? Where she uses uh, her technology and her experiments to uh, do her bidding for her, to augment her own abilities and attacks, just like my girl Kokonoe from Blaze Blue. 
and it would give a lot of variety to the game because it would be cool to see a character who utilizes technology and her own experiments to augment her abilities, especially considering inevitably this game is going to be filled with mainly buff dudes who punch and kick each other as fast as they can, as hard as they can, and throw the biggest key waves they can. And as much as I love that, having a fighting game like this, I want to see as much variety as we can. So that is in, ter in terms of character design and gameplay design. So anyway, that was pretty much it, guys. Um, tell me what you guys think. Are you excited to see Yamcha, Tien, number 21? Do you think she'll actually be a playable character, or will she be only relegated to the story? Let me know in the comment sections below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Fahrenheit signing out.